There was a period in my life when I was really interested in uh, the circus. Hey, what's up in style? I'm Andre Holland and you are watching this guy. The person that I admire most that is my mother. That they don't make them like my mother anymore. She's no 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 offense, no tea, no shade to the ladies out there, but but my mama is a special, special woman. She's just magic. She's just a magic, magic person. And uh yeah, and I love her, love her dearly. That's my girl. I think that, you know, the thing that my mother, something that my mother taught me about love, is something that I learned, you know, she never said like, here's something about love that you should know, but things that I just sort of learned from being around her is grace, what it means to extend grace to another human being. Being able to extend people uh, understanding, um, patience, favor, even when they don't necessarily deserve it, uh, is something that I saw my mother do. You know, she never gave up on the people that she loved. And so that is something that I hope that I can bring to my relationships. Yes, yes, I do remember my first kiss. It was a uh, summer camp in Mississippi that I had gone to. And on the last, the last night of the camp, we had this party. And all, all throughout the camp, there was this, this girl named Shannon, who I thought was so cute. And so on the last night, this group of guys, like me and three friends that I had made at the camp, got together and we created this dance routine to Jodeci's Cry For You, which is like a deep cut, old school. Um, and we got up in our little suits and we performed the whole thing and you know. And then afterwards, uh, there was like a dance and Shannon came over and asked me to dance, and she said that she liked our little routine. And while we were dancing, we had a little smooch. And it was the first one, and it, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll never forget it. It was a, it was a whole vibe. Oh yeah, when I was younger, my celebrity crush was Halle Berry. That's who was on my wall in my bedroom, was Halle. <laughs> A hidden talent. I would say that there was a period in my life when I was really interested in uh, the circus. And I thought about joining a circus. And so I learned how to do some circus things like juggling um, trapeze, like flying trapeze, roller bola, tightrope, things like that. So uh, maybe that's my, my hidden, hidden skill. I think the most memorable moment of my career thus far, there's two things that come to mind. One is the, uh, the Oscar night when Moonlight and La La Land, that whole thing happened. I'll never forget that. But the other thing that is really memorable and maybe like the most special, uh, about three years ago I did a play, I did a fellow at the Globe in London. And on the closing night, both of my parents flew over from Alabama to come and see the play. And at the end of the play, I remember looking up in the, in the gallery and seeing both of my parents up there and I could see my dad kind of wiping tears from his eyes. And I think that that's a moment that I'll never forget. I think what really inspired me in this career path um, is just growing up where I grew up and who I grew up around. You know, I grew up around in, in Alabama, around a bunch of just natural storytellers. And I always felt like the people who I grew up around were so interesting, so fascinating to me. And they're not the kind of characters that you typically see in movies or, or in TV shows. And yet, to me, they, are, they were like giants, you know? Like so poetic, so profound, so loving and complicated and messy. And um, I always wanted to be able to, to help to tell their stories. For me, when I'm preparing for a role, you know, the inspiration usually, I, I, I'm really big into research. And inevitably, you know, I bump into things that surprise me, that move me, uh, that inspire me. So it's usually through that process that I, that I find something that, uh, that ignites me in a, in a particular way. Wow, the first album I ever owned, it was either, it was either the Dead President soundtrack or, <laughs> and I think it was this, Rent, the musical. That was my jam. I'm Andre Holland. This has been In Style, This Guy. I've had a great time. I hope you have too. See you next time.